What's up guys, it's your girl Mel and welcome back to my channel. For Ryan's video, we're gonna uh, some hair from Curls Queen. <laughs> I've shared a lot of their hair with you guys before in the past, but I have never shared a kinky, curly type texture, like a true match, true match texture. So I'm not gonna give you guys one, but four different looks you can do with these clip-ins and the best part you don't have to know how to braid, twist, do none of that. <laughs> You're literally able to do these styles. As long as you know how to catch your hair in a ponytail, you can do all of these styles. If we're doing clips, you know, we're in summer now and we're in the thick of it. We're in June, approaching July. We're in the thick of the summer. So I love my kinky yaki straight clips, but um, it's time for kinky, more textured hair that will not mess up once you go outside. So I will have all the details about the hair in the description box so you guys can get the length, the link, everything you need to know will be in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your notification button so you can get notified when I post. I post every week. Oh, let me give a turn. Whee! <laughs> this is so cute. Uh, whoa, I'm freaking dizzy. Probably I shouldn't have done that turn without eating yet. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you guys the hair that I got from Curls Queen. It was about one pack, I believe, of their clip-ins. Usually one pack does your whole head. And this hair is really, really full. I not, at during any of these styles, I did not use the whole entire pack of it. Cause when I tell you the hair is, is full, it's thick, it's full and thick. So I had my hair in braids, um, but I only had them in for a week, so I just took it out. So that's why my hair is a bit stretched and, you know, textured, but also not that textured, but with it being stretched, it does make it a lot easier to accomplish this without braiding your hair down. And also this is more um, short hair friendly. I don't know if it's gonna work as well if you have really long hair, but if your hair is short and, you know, like in between thickness, <laughs> you don't really need to do braids. Like, you know, it works. So I'm just parting off right now the hair that I'm gonna leave out to blend. I'm gonna show you guys, um, you know, the method to leave your hair out, but you can also do my crochet method that I have listed in a lot of my other videos as well if you don't wanna leave any hair out with this style. start with the longest clips to the back and as I make my way up to the top of my head I start using shorter clips but you always want to use the longest one to cover as much space in the back of your head as possible and you're gonna put it underneath that ponytail that's what's gonna give you the most coverage when you have that clip underneath and that clip on top <laughs>
because I'm going to show you guys multiple styles with this hair, I'm not really going to use any product. I am just going to apply some water. Also, it's kinky hair. I, I just find that with kinky hair, like, products don't really matter. Like, it's just going to be kinky. There's not much texture change. If you want something looser or tighter, then you got to get a looser hair. I mean, you could do a twist out and stuff, but that's like the only time I think I would find myself using much product but a lot of times with kinky hair I really just use water some leave-in if even <laughs> hey that rhymed but most of the time it's just gonna be water that I'm gonna use I've used curls queen's hair before they are one of my favorite hair manufacturer companies uh, their hair pretty much holds up really well I have some extensions that I've had for about five plus years and they're still doing really really good and you never have to do too much maintenance to them besides you know your regular wash uh yeah but they don't shed a lot and i, I just find i don't have to over manipulate their hair probably wet my leave out but because this hair is a little long I want it to kind of blend and I have some crinkle to my hair from being being in a braid so I decided to just leave it down and I'm gonna do other styles to show you guys so you can wet it to have it blend more me I didn't think it was that big of a deal you know the color matches so <laughs> my hair was a bit shinier than this hair but like I said you can wet it I just did it this way because I didn't want it to shrink up because I'm going to show you guys other styles with it. I don't know, this moment right here, just putting the gel on my edges and sneaking it back really reminded me of Miss Natural Mary. I think that's her name. I used to follow her a lot. I love your videos for some reason you ever watch this. Um, but she always used product to kind of sneak her hair back, you know, always shows how to do these styles without doing braids and stuff. And she would really just be using gel to make the thing work. So this just reminded me of like a style she would wear. But this is how this came out. I really really loved it like I said I did not use all of the hair because you see how full this is and this is just with most of the pack so the second style is really really simple it is just gonna be a ponytail thank god my hair was stretched already because it made putting it in a ponytail really really easy but also what I like when you're doing texture matches and you're doing um kinkier hair i just feel like you don't have to have your ponytail as flat like you know if your hair is not blow dried you have some waves to it whatever it's fine because the texture is gonna match like you're not trying to make it blend with the super silky ponytail sorry if i sound drained this it's like the end of my day i have this weird crick in my neck that i've had for the past couple of days and i'm just overall exhausted I also forgot to take my pills, if you guys know what I mean. Oh, not pills like that, that sounded really crazy. Just birth control pills. So, you know, what happens when you don't take it? So I've just literally been suffering <laughs> from that. 
<laughs> but this video has been in my folder for a really really long time and i'm like i need to get to editing this in post because i didn't post last week so i have to post this week to wrap my edges so they can lay down while I apply the hair to my bun so you're getting two things done at once so with applying these clips you're gonna apply it to the outer part of your bun first and then work your way to the center to get like the best coverage Next, we are literally just taking this ponytail and wrapping it in a bun and you are gonna use your bobby pins and just hold it down. <laughs> so I, I specifically wanted to do these styles where you could transfer from one style into another just in case you decide to sleep with the clip-ins and you wanna switch it up the next day. You don't have to take everything down. You can just go from the ponytail to the bun to the half up, half down. You know, switch it up. And your co-workers really won't know that it's not your hair because you just you switched it up days in a row like you took your own hair down and you just did that you just put that thing on you know
Now this is very simple, and this is a hack that a lot of you guys don't know. You are not going to take all your hair down to do a half up, half down look. You are just gonna clip it right on top of that hair, okay? And I don't wanna hear you guys comment, oh, is your hair gonna fall out, this and that, and that. Listen, I've been wearing clip-ins for years upon years upon years. Clip-ins have not torn my hair out yet. Obviously don't keep this in for months. That would just, it is a quick style but it has yet to tear my hair out. I don't know what you guys are doing when you have it in, why it's tearing your hair out. take the bun down because I just want a regular half up half down but you can wear the bun with it too that's a cute little style I probably would just take some of the extensions out of the bun part though because it was a little big <laughs> for this so that's what I'm even gonna do for the ponytail I think I I took a track um, or two out just to make it look a bit more natural that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what style was your favorite or if you guys even want more styles there's honestly so many styles you can do with clip-ins without having to know how to braid now, now don't get me wrong is it gonna last as long if you don't do a braid down no but it is like it this takes five minutes like to do something really quick yourself like for an event or something i'm going to a wedding this weekend so that's kind of why I did this. I might rock this one or the bun. Not sure yet, because like I like all of them. I'm so torn. But 
it takes five minutes like and this is perfect for moms too i'm a mom and i love a quick hairstyle like anything quick is what we're doing now